Hello everyone, hope you're having the greatest of days today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. For today's video, we're going to discuss some more of the worst bars to be featured on Bar Rescue and reveal how they're doing now. So sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get right into the content guys. The Brixton For a season 3 episode, John Taffer heads over to the failing Brixton in Austin, Texas to rescue it from closure. Owned by Tim and Sarah Lupa, they purchased the punk bar when it was on the verge of shutting down in hopes that they could rescue it themselves. Unfortunately, due to Tim's insufferable attitude, he drove many of the customers away, which is why they're severely in debt. At risk of not only losing their business, but their homes as well, the couple call out to Taffer and his team for some guidance. When he finally arrives with expert mixologist Peter O'Connor, the two point out that the exterior is quite uninviting. Getting an email from a friend named Clay, Taffer is told that the Brixton has to be one of the worst bars he's ever been to and that the owner is very unprofessional. As usual, Taffer hopes to get an idea of the customer experience, so he sends in Clay with his friends for recon. Ordering several different cocktails, Tim reveals that he can't make any of them, so the spies settle on a simple mule and gin martini. Sadly, even this was too hard for the bar to make since the drinks were poorly mixed and tasted awful. Trying to get a refund for their terrible drinks, Tim only responds rudely, so Sarah steps in and actually makes them drinks that they enjoy. Having seen enough, the famous rescuer heads inside and confronts the owner about his terrible customer service. Through some conversation with Tim, Taffer comes to understand that they didn't change a thing about the bar after buying it, which is crazy since they wanted to rescue it. Saddened by how careless her partner has become, Sarah exposes the fact that she might leave him if things don't change soon. Holding a staff meeting the following day, Taffer tries to understand why the bar has so many issues. Most say that Tim is the biggest problem, but they also acknowledge that due to their lack of skill, many customers are left unsatisfied. Since the bar didn't have enough space for a kitchen, the bar rescue host put most of his focus into improving the staff's mixing skills with the help of O'Connor. Following what is a lot of immature resistance from Tim throughout the rest of the episode, he eventually caves and agrees to listen to Taffer's advice. Renaming the place to Rocket Room 6, which was inspired by a tattoo on Tim's arm and their location on the street, the bar also received a complete makeover. On the inside, everything was modernized and the bar received tons of new equipment, including a frost rail, a cooler, and a tablet that would connect to a food truck across the street to allow for food to be served without a kitchen. Post Bar Rescue, the owner predictably changed the name back to the Brixton, but this somehow didn't negatively affect them. Mere weeks after Taffer had left, their sales shot up and the couple announced that they were expecting their first child. However, since they wanted to focus on the family life, the couple sold the place in March of 2020 to someone named Van Atkins. Characters Quarters In yet another Season 3 episode, John Taffer heads over to Characters Quarters to bring it back on its feet. Owned by a man named Guy Wavra, he opened the theme bar with the help of his parents and sister Alex. Spending close to $350,000 to bring his business to life, they were initially met with great success, making 80 grand a month. Though, due to the childish decorum theme, they brought in more families with children than adults with friends. With time, the locals grew disinterested with the bar and the business started to lose $3,000 a month. Desperately wanting to find a way out of this tough situation, Guy called out to Taffer for some professional help. Arriving later on with his experts, they seemed to be confused by the name and weren't sure whether the place was a bar or not. Sending in two spies to get a better idea of the customer experience, they immediately order a Tom Collins and Whiskey Sour upon entering. As they patiently wait for their drinks to be made, the spies order some food from the menu and are unimpressed with how clueless Alex is about the dishes. Their order takes a while to be delivered and when they finally receive them, they're pretty awful. Already fed up with what he was seeing, the famous rescuer heads inside to reprimand the family for their piss poor service. Leaving and returning the following day, Taffer holds a staff meeting and learns that most of them hate the bar's uniforms slash costumes since they constantly have to explain it to customers. It's clear that their skills also needed some refining, so the bar rescue host brought in his experts to train the staff. While chef Brian Duffy teaches the staff how to make a proper burger, mixologist Russell Davis shows them how to make three different drinks at the same time. Holding a stress test soon after, it seems like Brooke was the most solid employee of all, with Whitney and Alex doing terribly. In the kitchen, the staff get overwhelmed with the influx of orders and try to keep up, but to no avail. Following the embarrassing service, Whitney ends up getting fired due to the fact that she was too slow and incompetent. Obviously, since the costumes and name were also hurting the business, Taffer tells them that they were the next thing to go. Soon after, Taffer gets his experts to train the staff even further, with Davis showing them how to make a moonshine cocktail and Chef Duffy teaching them how to make southern comfort food. Over the course of 36 hours, the famous rescuer renamed the place to Moonrunner Saloon and completely revamped the interior and exterior. Aside from adding a beautiful sign to the outside, the inside was given a makeover to seem rustic but classy at the same time. 
Upon the bar's eventual relaunch, people seemed to be ecstatic with the changes made and loved the fantastic food and drinks. Weeks after the taping of this episode, the owners revealed that their sales shot up by 40% which is great. With their newfound success, the owners decided to also open up a Moonrunners food truck to increase their profits. Interestingly enough, the bar for the last 8 years has been hosting a charity golfing event that donates all of its proceedings to the Garner Pal. Years after Taffer graced this bar with his valuable advice, they're still thriving to this day and rock a solid 4 stars on Yelp across 197 reviews. Most seem to rant and rave about the delicious southern food and the tasty drinks but there are some complaints here and there about the service. If you're interested in getting more details about this rescue, make sure to check out their official website after the video is over. Cleek's Bar & Grill As our final entry, we're going to discuss a bar that John Taffer tried to rescue called Cleek's Bar & Grill. Owned by a marine named Todd, he opened the dive bar back in 2009 which was initially a big hit with the military crowd. Though after Todd got deployed in 2011, the staff started to misbehave and began hooking up with one another which caused tons of drama. After only 6 weeks of being gone, the bar had completely changed and started to lose $4,000 a month. Being $140,000 in debt and months away from closing down, the owner called out to Taffer for some aid. Upon his eventual arrival with expert mixologist Peter O'Connor and expert chef Nick Labrado, they point out that the place looks like a prom dress store. Taffer then sends in three spies named Mac, Paul, and Sam who have military backgrounds and are locals for recon. When they finally enter, they order a drink that oddly has some bacon in it and get nachos that take close to 20 minutes to arrive. Watching through CCTV cameras, Taffer notices that the place has a punching bag machine which a customer cuts his hand on so he enters immediately after. Confronting the owner about the machine, the famous rescuer points out that it can incite a potential lawsuit and to remove it if he doesn't want to be sued. Quickly meeting with the staff soon after, Taffer and his experts then inspect around and are appalled with what they see. Starting with the bar, expert mixologist O'Connor notices that the soda gun is filthy and that there's a bug infestation in the beer cooler. Meanwhile in the kitchen, Chef Liberato disgustingly finds some bugs in the flour so Taffer calls an exterminator to clean this mess up. Coming back the following day, the famous rescuer reveals that the exterminator eradicated 14 nests of bugs from the premises which is appalling. Fast forward to near the end of the episode, Taffer renamed the place to 22 Clicks Bar and & Grill and gave the place a nice military theme. Post Bar Rescue, the business's sales increased by a whopping 50% and the owner managed to pay off his debts. The place is still open to this day with the same name and menu and is doing relatively well with people only complaining about the service from time to time. Well, that'll be all for today's video here on the channel. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one, guys.